so trigonometric identities we are going to solve problems based on trigonometric identities the first question is prove that 1 minus cos square theta into cosecant square theta is equal to 1 let us take left hand side 1 minus cos square theta into cosecant square theta we know the identity first identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 when you transpose cos square what will remain sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta so ye 1 minus cos square theta ke badle mein aap kya likh sakte sin square theta likh sakte reciprocals dekhiye reciprocals sin ka reciprocal sin theta ka reciprocal kya hai cosecant theta hai got it so yaha par cosecant square theta ko aap likh sakte 1 by sin square theta sin square and sin square will get cancelled answer is 1 so we got our rhs so we took left hand side and we got rhs by using two formulae please note down so the second question is 1 minus sin square theta into secant square theta is equal to 1 let us take left hand side 1 minus sin square theta into secant square theta from the first identity we can write sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 transpose sin square theta you will get a sub identity cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta so first identity se aapko malum hua ki 1 minus sin square theta cos square theta hai to yahan par ye 1 minus sin square theta ko replace karke aapko likhna hai cos square theta aur reciprocals mein one by cos theta secant theta kya hai secant theta is reciprocal of cos theta one by cos theta is secant theta so secant square theta can be written as one by cos square theta when you have multiplicative sign you can cancel denominator and numerator so you will get one as the answer which is nothing but rhs so in this problem also we used one sub identity and one reciprocal please copy down third question is one plus cot square a into sine square a is equal to one let us take left hand side one plus cot square a into sine square a so let us take identity involving cot square a so the identity is cosecant square a minus cot square a is equal to 1 abhi aap ye identity me cot ko transpose kariye so kya aega aapko cosecant square a is equal to 1 plus cot square a minus cot square will become plus so yaha par 1 plus cot square a ko aap 
लिख सकते हैं सो राइट ऑन कोसिक एंड स्क्वायर ए एंड दिस साइन स्क्वायर वट इज रेसी प्रोकल साइन स्क्वायर इज नथिंग बट साइन स्क्वायर इज नथिंग बट रेसी प्रोकल ऑफ कोसिक एंड स्क्वायर साइन रेसी प्रोकल ऑफ कोसिक एंड इज साइन सो वी कैन राइट साइन स्क्वायर एज वन बाय cosec and square cosec and square cosec and square will get cancel and you get your rhs which is 1 that's it fourth question 1 plus tan square theta into cos square theta is equal to 1 let us take left hand side 1 plus tan square theta into cos square theta let us write the identity involving tan square so second identity second square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1 on transposing tan square theta it will become plus we get second square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta so we can replace this 1 plus tan square theta and in this in here we can write instead of 1 plus tan square theta we can write secant square theta let's write and we are having cos square theta beside it these two are reciprocals so cos theta is reciprocal of secant theta so cos square theta can be written as 1 by secant square theta secant square secant square will get cancel answer is 1 that's how we got our rhs please note down fifth question is secant square theta minus 1 into cosecant square theta minus 1 is equal to 1 so let us take left hand side Second square theta minus one into cosecant square theta minus one. See, first let us take secant square identity, which is secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one. Here you transpose one towards left hand side tan square towards right hand side so plus 1 will become minus 1 minus tan square will become on transposing it will become plus tan square theta so this secant square theta minus 1 can be written as tan square theta similarly you you can use identity involving cosecant square theta the identity is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1 transpose 1 towards left hand side transpose cot square theta towards right hand side so you will get cosecant square theta minus 1 is equal to cot square theta so this cosecant square theta minus 1 can be written as cot square theta here we got the product of reciprocals you all know that cot theta is reciprocal of tan theta so you can write cot square theta as 1 by tan square theta tan square and tan square will get cancel and you will get the answer as 1 which is your rhs please copy it on sixth question is tan square theta into cos square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta let us take left hand side 
in the left hand side we are having tan square theta into cos square theta you all know that tan theta can be written as sin theta by cos theta do you agree with me tan theta is sin theta by cos theta so tan square theta tan square theta can be written as sin square theta by cos square theta and we are also having cos square theta these two will get cancelled and sin square theta remains use the first identity first identity says that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 transpose cos square theta so sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta so this sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta which is your RHS that's it So in seventh question we are having cosecant theta into under root 1 minus cos square theta is equal to 1. Let us take left hand side. In the left hand side I am having cosecant theta into 1 minus cos square theta under root. Use the first identity. First identity is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. When you transpose cos square theta to other side, you will get sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. Now, instead of this 1 minus cos square theta, you can directly write sin square theta. So, what happens on writing sin square theta? Let's see. Under root sin square theta square and root will get cancelled you will get cosecant theta into sin theta i have already said product of reciprocals is one sin theta is reciprocal of cosecant theta so you can write sin theta as one by cosecant theta cosecant cosecant will get cancelled and you will get the answer as one which is your right hand side that's it yes sir <clears throat> in the seventh question secant theta into one minus sine square theta under root is equal to one let us take left hand side secant theta one minus sine square theta under root so we have the identity, first identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Transpose sin square theta to other side, we get cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. So this 1 minus sin square theta can be written as cos square theta. So let's write <coughs> secant theta into cos square theta under root square and root will get cancelled square and root will get cancelled you will get product of reciprocals that is secant into cos <coughs> cos theta is reciprocal of secant theta so cos theta can be written as 1 by secant now secant secant will get cancelled and your final answer is 1 which is RHS In eighth question, we are having tan theta plus 1 by tan theta is equal to secant theta into cosecant theta. Let us take left hand side. Tan theta plus 1 by tan theta. You all know that reciprocal of tan is cot theta. So, I would like to write 1 by tan theta as cot theta sin theta tan theta can be written as sin by cos 
in between we are having plus cot theta can be written as cos theta by sin theta now let us take calcium sin into sin is sin square theta cos into cos is cos square theta by cos theta into sin theta in the denominator we'll have cos theta into sin theta you all know that sin square plus cos square is 1 1 by cos theta into sin theta can be written as 1 by cos theta into 1 by sin theta 1 by cos is secant theta 1 So in the next question, it is given that cos theta by 1 minus sin theta is equal to 1 plus sin theta by cos theta. We have to show that LHS is equal to RHS. Now let us take left hand side. In the left hand side, we are having cos theta by 1 minus sin theta. Basically, you should know that since there is there is no square since there is no square we can't use any identity any of the identities all the identities have square so uh, using identities whether it is sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 or any other identity like sine square sub identity sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta all using the identities is ruled out why because in the question there is no square now the best thing you can do here is just rationalize it rationalize so Okay, now <clears throat> we can raise the best thing is to rationalize. So cos theta by one minus sine theta into one plus sine theta by one plus sine theta. Multiplying and dividing with 1 plus sine theta. You have to change the sign if you are having minus. If you are having minus in the denominator. Change the sign and multiply and divide. So numerator into numerator will give you cos theta into 1 plus sin theta denominator into denominator 1 minus sin theta into 1 plus sin theta is in the form of a minus b into a plus b it can be written as a square minus b square so 1 square minus sin square theta now using the first identity what is first identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one if you transpose this sine square theta to other side you will get 
cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. So cos theta into 1 plus sin theta by this whole denominator 1 minus sin square theta is cos square. So head on cos square cancel square and cos cos square means cos into cos one cos will get cancelled with that numerator this is the style of cancelling square will be cancelled here cos will cancel cos will be cancelled in the numerator now what is remaining 1 plus sin theta by cos theta is your RHS, hence proof. Once again, similar type of question, cos theta by 1 plus sin theta is equal to 1 minus sin theta by cos theta. Let us take left hand side. Since there is no square, we cannot use any of the identities. So the best thing you can do is simply rationalize it. Multiplying and dividing with 1 minus sine theta. Numerator into numerator, denominator into denominator. Cos theta into 1 minus sine theta. cos theta into 1 minus sin theta. Denominator is in the form of a plus b into a minus b which can be written as a square minus b square. So 1 square minus sin square theta. According to the first identity, we have sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. This 1 minus sin square theta. 1 square is 1 only. This 1 minus sin square theta can be written as cos square theta. So, cos theta into 1 minus sin theta by cos square theta square and cos will get cancelled and you will get 1 minus sin theta by cos theta which is your right hand side. So let us take left hand side first. 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta. So rationalizing. Always remember when you don't have any square. Jab aap ke paas square nahi hai to identities use nahi kar sakte hai. Square nahi hai to koi identity aap use nahi kar sakte hai. और स्क्वायर रूट रहा तो रेशनलाइज करना है सो रेशनलाइजिंग रेशनलाइजिंग 1 माइनस कॉस थीटा बाय 1 प्लस कॉस थीटा सो साइन in the denominator, we are having plus sign. So we should multiply and divide with 1 minus cos theta. Opposite sign lena. Denominator ka opposite sign. Yaha par plus hai. To aapko minus leke multiply divide karna hai. Numerator into numerator. 
1 minus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta is 1 minus cos theta whole square. In the denominator, we are having 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta. Okay. 1 minus cos into 1 minus cos numerator into numerator 1 minus cos theta whole square. So there is, we can apply one algebraic identity in the denominator that is a plus b into a minus b which is equal to a square minus b square. So denominator a plus b into a minus b form may have square a square minus b square form may like sakte. Abhi in at this stage you can separate the roots, separate root for numerator, separate root for denominator. Now a square minus b square, a is 1, b is cos square, roots also separated. Always remember in case of division you can separate roots, what it? Square and root will get cancelled. This square, whole square and root will get cancelled. So you will get 1 minus cos theta. Now can you guess what is the formula here? 1 minus cos square theta. According to the first identity, 1 minus cos square theta is, check the identity, see here. 1 minus cos square theta is equal to sin square theta. So write on 1 minus cos square will become sin square theta. Square and root again will get cancelled and what will remain at the end? 1 minus cos theta by sin theta will remain. This can be written as 1 by sin theta cos theta by sin theta separating denominator. What I did here? I separated the denominator. Very important question. 1 by sin. Check what is 1 by sin. 1 by sin is cosec. 1 by sine becomes cosec theta cos by sine. Check what is cos by sine. Cos by sine is cot theta. Cosecant theta minus cot theta. So we got our right hand side. We have we have started the problem by taking left hand side at the end we got right hand side that's why lhs is equal to rhs let us take left hand side under root 1 plus cos theta by 1 minus cos theta. We can't apply any identities. Why? Because all identities have squares. If you don't have square, you can't apply any identity. So the best thing we can do over here is rationalizing denominator. So let us rationalize 1 plus cos theta by 1 minus cos theta. Under root. So the rationalizing factor will be 1 plus cos theta. We should take opposite sign. 
in the denominator we are having one minus cos theta so opposite sign you should take one plus cos theta one plus cos theta should be multiplied and divided now numerator into numerator one plus cos one plus cos into one plus cos is one plus cos theta whole square denominator into denominator what is denominators one minus cos theta into one minus cos theta denominator is in the form of a minus b into a plus b this is one plus so denominator is in the form of a minus b into a plus b which can be written as a square minus b square a value is one b value is cos theta separate the roots so numerator will be getting a separate root denominator first we'll apply the formula a square minus b square one square minus cos square theta and denominator will also get a separate root this square and root will get cancelled one plus cos theta remains one minus cos square theta what is one minus cos square theta look in look here identity one minus cos square theta is sine square theta so write on sine square theta root square and root again will get cancelled 1 plus cos theta by sin theta remains now separating the denominator 1 by sin theta cos theta by sin theta 1 by sin is cosec theta cos by sin is cot theta hence proved we got our rhs Please remember one important point. See here, if you have a plus b whole square, you can cancel the root. If it is in the form of a square plus b square, you cannot cancel root. So here you can see whole square, whole square ka root cancel ho gaya. Individual squares ka root cancel nahi hua. 1 square is 1, 1 minus cos square ko sin square likhne ke baad cancel kare, individually yaha cancel nahi ho sakta. Hope you understood this. So let us take left hand side. In the left hand side we have 1 minus sin theta by 1 plus sin theta. So whenever you have a square root, you should get an idea to rationalize. Let us rationalize the denominator. Rationalizing denominator. One minus sine theta by one plus sine theta should be multiplied with 1 minus sine theta by 1 minus sine theta. Rationalizing will be done under the square root. Since the denominator is having plus sign, you should take opposite sign 1 minus sine theta. Multiply and divide with 1 minus sine theta. Numerator into numerator denominator into denominator in case of multiplication always remember numerator into numerator ac denominator into denominator bd this is how you multiply fractions so let us multiply here 
1 minus sin into 1 minus sin is 1 minus sin theta whole square. In the same way multiply denominator into denominator. What is denominators here? One, what are denominators? 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta. In the next step, I am separating the roots. 1 minus sin theta whole square will get square root. In the denominator, it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b, which can be written as a square minus b square. So let us apply the formula a square minus b square. Roots are separated. Square and root will get cancelled. Here, 1 minus sine square theta, 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta. Again, square and root will get cancelled. 1 minus sine theta by cos theta will remain. Separate the denominators. 1 by cos theta, sine theta by cos theta. 1 by cos is secant theta sin by cos is tan theta that's how we got our right hand side so lhs is equal to rhs so this is the next question let us take left hand side in the left hand side we are having one minus cos a by 1 plus cos a plus 1 plus cos a 1 minus cos a rationalize both of them rationalizing first one 1 minus cos a by 1 plus cos a what is the rationalizing factor here we have to take 1 minus cos a, multiply, divide with 1 minus cos a. Here again rationalize 1 plus cos a by 1 minus cos a, multiply, divide with 1 plus cos a. numerator into numerator 1 minus cos 1 minus cos a into 1 minus cos a is 1 minus cos a whole square and denominator into denominator First part is done. Similarly, 1 plus cos a into 1 plus cos a numerator into numerator you will get 1 plus cos a whole square. Similarly, multiply denominator into denominator. That means 1 minus cos a into 1 plus cos a under root. Is that okay? Next step, separate the roots. Roots should be separated for both numerator and denominator. So I am in the next page, I will be writing 1 minus cos A will get separate root. And denominator is in the form of A plus B into A minus B which can be written as a square minus b square. So 1 square minus cos square will come in the denominator. Root is separated. These two will get cancelled. Now next part. Separate the denominator 1 plus cos a here. 1 plus cos a whole square will get separate root. 
numerator will get a separate root square and root will get cancelled denominator is in the form of a minus b into a plus b which can be written as a square minus b square so one square minus cos square will come in the denominator roots are separated now one minus cos a one minus cos square is sin square a square and root will get cancelled 1 minus cos square is sin square a square and root will get cancelled so 1 minus cos a by sin a 1 plus cos a by sin a your LCM is sin a in you can add the numerators 1 minus cos a less or else or else I would like to do one simple thing I will separate the denominator 1 by sin a cos a by sin a 1 by sin a I am separating the denominator plus cos a by sin a minus cos a by sin a will cancel 1 by sin a is cosec a this one by sin a is cosec a cosec a plus cosec a two cosecant a is your rhs hence proof let us take left hand side Start rationalizing. One plus sine theta by one minus sine theta. Rationalizing factor is one plus sine theta. one minus sine theta by one plus sine theta rationalizing factor is one minus sine theta so numerator into numerator you will get one plus sine theta whole square Denominator is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. a minus b into a plus b. So it can be written as a square minus b square. So here you will get 1 square minus sine square theta square root here numerator into numerator both are same so we will get 1 minus sine theta whole square denominator is in the form of a plus b into a minus b which can be written as a square minus b square so let, let's write 1 square minus sine square theta under root Se separate the roots 1 plus sine square theta sorry 1 plus sine theta whole square one minus sine square is cos square theta Both numerator and denominator are getting separate roots. In between, we have positive plus sign. 
So here one minus sine theta whole square numerator. And denominator one minus sine square sub identity one minus sine square is equal to cos square theta. Square and root will get cancelled. So one plus sine theta by cos theta one minus sine theta by cos theta. Separate the denominator one by cos sine theta by cos theta one by cos sine theta by cos theta sine theta cos theta will get cancelled secant theta plus secant theta is equal to two secant theta that's it please write down let us take left hand side in the left hand side we are having secant theta minus 1 by secant theta plus 1 plus secant theta plus 1 by secant theta minus 1 in these type of problems in the first step itself you have to rationalize rationalizing denominator So secant theta minus 1 by secant theta plus 1 into secant theta minus 1 by secant theta minus 1. Make a note, since the denominator is plus, we are supposed to take minus and multiply and divide. In the same way, let us rationalize the other part secant theta plus 1 by secant theta minus 1 should be multiplied with secant theta plus 1 by secant theta plus 1. Now multiply numerator into numerator secant minus 1 into secant minus 1 is secant theta minus 1 whole square root separated denominator which formula it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b and it can be written as a square minus b square so tell how to write the denominator what is the identity we have secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. So secant square theta minus 1 square. A square minus B square. Root separated. From this we from this identity we get that secant square theta minus 1 is equal to what? Tan square theta. Okay, this is the sub identity. Secant square theta minus 1 is equal to tan square theta. Now in the same way, numerator into numerator, we will get secant theta plus 1 whole square, secant theta plus 1 whole square under root a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. Okay, in the next page, let us start square and root will cancel square and root will cancel secant minus one will remain. And here 
secant square minus 1 will become tan square theta. In the same way, square and root will cancel. Secant plus 1 will remain. In the denominator, secant square minus 1 is tan square theta. So again, square root will get cancelled. So what is remaining? Secant theta minus 1 by tan theta. Secant theta plus 1 by tan theta. Separating denominator. Secant by tan minus 1 by tan. Again, secant theta by tan theta plus 1 by tan, minus 1 by tan, plus 1 by tan cancel, secant by tan plus secant by tan is how much? 2 secant theta by tan theta, convert into sine cos, secant is 1 by cos, tan is sine theta, sin theta. cos cos cancel what is remaining one by sign is remaining one by sign is nothing but cosecant theta that's how you got your rhs that's it four mark question first of all let us take left hand side in the left hand side we are having one minus cos theta by sine theta we cannot use any identity why because we don't we are not having any squares so when you are not having squares it would be better to rationalize numerator multiply and divide with one plus cos theta got it now numerator into numerator what is numerator into numerator? 1 minus cos theta into 1 plus cos theta. Denominator into denominator that is sine theta into 1 plus cos theta. In the numerator, you should recollect a formula A minus B into A plus B which can be written as A square minus B square. So write on 1 square minus cos square by sin theta into 1 plus cos theta. So 1 minus cos square, what is 1 minus cos square theta? 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta. So this 1 minus cos square theta will become sin square theta. So sine square theta by sine theta into 1 plus cos theta. One sine and one square will go. So sine theta by 1 plus cos theta remains which is our RHS. In the next question let us take left hand side sin theta by 1 minus cos theta. We can't use any identity. Why? Because in the question we are not having any square. All the identities have square. So since we are not having square, we can't use identity. It, is, it would be better if we rationalize, better to rationalize. rationalizing denominator so sin theta by 1 minus cos theta into 1 plus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta numerator into numerator what is the formula in the denominator can you tell a minus b into a plus b is equal to what a square minus b square isn't it now start 
sin theta into 1 plus cos theta by 1 square minus cos square theta. What is 1 square minus cos square theta? Sin square theta. Yes, 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta. 1 sine will get cancelled. And what will remain? 1 plus cos theta by sin theta will remain. Separate the denominator, you will get 1 by sin theta and cos theta by sin theta. Many times in trigonometry, we use this step like separating denominator. 1 by sin is cosec. Cos by sin is cot. That's how we got our RHS. That's the end of it. Yes, he's asking us to prove 1 minus sin theta by 1 plus sin theta is equal to secant theta minus tan theta whole square. Let us take left hand side. Left hand side, 1 minus sin theta by 1 plus sin theta. Multiply and divide with 1 minus sin theta. Multiplying and dividing with 1 minus sin theta. Numerator into numerator. 1 minus sin into 1 minus sin is 1 minus sin theta whole square. So denominator is in the form of, it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b which can be written as a square minus b square. So let us write 1 square minus sin square theta. So in the numerator, we are having 1 minus sine theta whole square. So 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta. So both numerator and denominator are having squares. So let us write 1 by sine 1 minus sine theta by cos theta whole square. See if a square b square by c square, it can be written as a b c by a b c a b by c whole square so this numerator is also having square denominator is also having square so what i did is i gave whole square so I'm inside the bracket, I'm separating the denominator. I will get one by cos theta by minus sine theta by cos theta whole square. One by cos is secant theta. Sine by cos is tan theta. Secant theta minus tan theta whole square, which is our right hand side. That's it. Multiplying and dividing with one minus cos theta. So you will get one minus cos into one minus cos, one minus cos theta whole square. Here a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square that is 1 square minus cos square theta. So what is 1, one minus cos square theta? Sin square theta. Right whole square. Whole square. Separate the denominator. 1 by sin theta, cos theta by sin theta. What is 1 by sin? 1 by sin is 
cosec theta cos by sin is cot theta that's how we got our right hand side hence root so in the next problem he is asking us to prove 1 plus cot square theta into tan theta by secant square theta is equal to cot theta let us take left hand side in the left hand side we are having 1 plus cot square theta into tan theta by secant square theta using identity what identity i'm using here we have cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equal to one on transposing cot to the other side we get cosecant square theta is equal to one plus cot square theta so this one plus cot square theta this 1 plus cot square theta can be written as cosecant square theta. So let us write cosecant square theta into tan theta by secant square theta. Let us convert into sine cos okay cosecant theta can it can be written as 1 by sine theta tan theta is sine theta by cos theta secant square theta is 1 by cos square theta Sin cos cosecant square theta is 1 by sin square theta. Sorry, cosecant square theta is 1 by sin square theta. Now I would like to reciprocal this. 1 by cos square will become reciprocal. Write down 1 by sin square as it is. sine theta by cos theta as it is now reciprocal 1 by cos square will become cos square by 1 now cancellation this sine and this square will get cancelled this cos and this square will get cancelled what is remaining finally in the numerator cos is remaining in the denominator sign is remaining Cos by sin is nothing but cot theta. That's it. Now, in this particular question, he is asking us to prove that 1 plus tan square theta into cot theta by cosecant square theta is equal to tan theta. Let us take left hand side. In the left hand side, we are having 1 plus tan square theta into cot theta by cosecant square theta using identity we have secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to one this is second identity transpose tan square theta to other side minus tan square theta will become plus tan square theta So 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta. So write down this 1 plus tan square theta as secant square theta into cot theta by cosecant square theta. Convert all the terms, all the functions, trigonometric functions into sine cos. Secant square theta can be written as 1 by cos square theta cot theta can be written as cos theta by sin theta we are converting into sin cos cosecant square theta can be written as 1 by sin square theta let us reciprocal the denominator 
and then start cancellation. So always remember if you have A by B by C by D form, then A by it becomes A by B into D by C. Denominator will become reciprocal. So in the same way here, 1 by cos square theta into cos theta by sin theta remain as it is but this denominator will become reciprocal 1 by sin square will become sin square theta by 1 after making reciprocal now start cancellation this sin theta and square will get cancelled cos theta and square will get cancelled and in the numerator sin theta is left over in denominator cos theta is left over sin by cos is nothing but tan theta hence pro we got our right hand side so in this problem he is asking us to prove one plus cos theta by sin square theta is equal to one by one minus cos theta i am taking left hand side in the left hand side i'm having one plus cos theta by sine square theta so luckily i got square when i got square i need not rationalize i can use identity what is the first identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one transpose cos square theta sine square theta can be written as one minus cos square theta so this sine square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta is that okay now 1 is nothing but 1 square 1 square is 1 only 1 square is 1 into 1 1 only so here I'm I was having 1 minus cos square theta but I am writing square here why because 1 square is 1 only when I write like this it is looking like a square minus b square is ko expand kar sakte a plus b into a minus b is ko aisa expand kar sakte a plus b into a minus b expand karne se kya hoga ek bar dekhiye numerator mein 1 plus cos theta hai expand kariye a plus b mane 1 plus cos a minus b mane 1 minus cos now 1 plus cos 1 plus cos will cancel one time so final answer is 1 by 1 minus cos theta which is your rhs that's it second method so i'm taking left hand side i am rationalizing numerator so multiplying and dividing by 1 minus cos theta numerator into numerator so it is in the form of a plus b a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square denominator into denominator just write down sine square theta into 1 minus cos theta okay so i have multiplied with 1 minus cos into 1 minus cos then numerator into numerator a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square in the same way i multiplied denominators now we know that 1 minus cos square theta is sin square theta in the denominator we are having sin square theta into 1 minus cos theta sin square sin square will get cancelled 1 by 1 minus cos theta which is our rhs so we can solve this problem in this method also